Today I will show you how to customize the paint job of nearly every car in a Seto Corsa easily and fast. Like for everything in the Seto Corsa, the content manager has to be installed to customize the paint job. Let's open the content manager. And in here you should check if you have the newest uh, stable release of the custom shader patch installed. I don't think it's necessary but it is very helpful for many things in Assetto Corsa. So I recommend to use it for everything in Assetto Corsa and have it installed all the time. But after that, let's get on with the video and with the main topic of customizing your card. To do this, you just have to click on your card that you want to customize. Then you, when you're in here, for example, the Porsche GT3 RS, you just have to go and open in custom showroom so that you land in this window here where you can move freely around your car. On the right side, you can choose the base template of your livery. Then you just want to click on paint shop. And then you can see here every option on the right. You can see at first the brake calibers which you can customize it's on some cars it isn't really named correctly so you have to try it out there you can move and choose from different colors I will pick orange and the second one is the main of the car but you have to look it could be different from car to car and under that you can customize uh, different things like the reflections but with the reflections I had some problems from time to time so that didn't work every time then the next point is the interior which you can customize to here in this car it's just a steering wheel so I would recommend to just try it out and try what changes in the car interior did it doesn't change anything but for the original Assetto Corsa cars it works pretty well they are the most reliable to customize the skin then we have the second thing where we can customize the entire interior I will leave it white for now next one is the number plate which you can customize from the region where you can choose from different ones like Japan, Europe and more stuff. Then you can choose the country like um, Germany and yeah, then you can edit there everything that stands on the number plate. So from the numbers to the prefix and to the city where it's from. Yes. So the last point is the rim that you can change here too on this car on some cars you can change it but on some not to save your livery you just have to save it down here do not click modify current because then it overrides current except you want this to happen and click on save as new and put in the text there then you can click on save and close the window Yep, and here we can see the car that we just created here with the red rims, the blue livery, the yellow interior and the yellow brake calibers with the number plate that we have on the back of the car. Then I will come to a broken example which is a mod, um, a Porsche 9F GT3 S from 2023 which has a broken livery, so in game it works totally fine, it's a great mod, but if you now go into the custom showroom, you can see here what it looks like, and if you see that on your car, you know that it is not customizable, because it doesn't matter what you change, the colors won't change in game, so if you see that, just give up with customizing the car beyond the templates but if you're interested in customizing these cars too just write it down in the comments and maybe i will do another tutorial for this one because it's possible but way harder 
even the preview is broken so yeah that doesn't work with this car but with some other mod cars it works just to show you that modded cars work too here is a modded nismo which we can customize in the custom showroom so we just go in here and can choose from the different liveries and then we can do everything like for the Porsche just like the rims yeah and that works totally fine in game because in the showroom it renders the car like it would look like in game just for the broken cars it won't render them correctly so this is the option to look if it's not broken it looks totally normal but if it's broken yeah it looks bad like in the broken gt3 s mod but for now i would say that was it with the quick tutorial for how to customize nearly every car in assetto corsa easily and fast and if you have questions just write them down below in the comments see us next time